when you had a chance to review the film, what did you see from your performance? Uh, so it's the same answer every single week. Um, a couple of things you got to work on, some things you did well. Um, each week you're just trying to improve which, uh, you know, w what the uh, biggest weaknesses are. What are the couple things you want to work on? What are the couple things that you did well? Uh, probably use my eyes better. Um, I think we were a lot better deep ball wise this week. Um, for the most part, you know, we were, we were in the right play. Just basic things and general improvements. Do you feel like you're throwing off your back foot too much? No. No. You guys don't seem to hesitate throwing the deep ball. Like it's a big part of the offense, throwing it a lot. Yeah. Does, does that feel like the appropriate amount? Like, do you like oh, throwing yeah, that much? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we have the receivers for it, and we have the scheme for it. Um, second quarter, we threw uh, probably 200 yards and three touchdowns, and it was a, it was a lot of deep balls, and uh, you know, a lot of completions that weren't deep balls were the checkdowns on deep ball plays. Um, really, that's how it should work. What changed in the second half? Uh, nothing changed. I... Nothing changed? The offense no. it was very unproductive compared to that second quarter. A uh, couple missed plays and that'll happen. Yeah. So, then, you know, you only get three downs to convert. So you, you, you mess up, a, you know, one guy does the wrong thing on a second down, you're third and long, you know, it's not going to, you, you're just not going to, uh, you're not going to succeed. Just a couple of those. JT, when you see a single high safety, is there, and the odds favor passing, is there a temptation to stay committed to a running game or maybe checking out and taking advantage of those matchups? Um, yeah, it really does depend on the matchup. You know, we're very confident in our receivers, so if a team is going to go single high, play a lot of, you know, cover one, cover three, uh, and try and stop the run, then um, I think it's definitely on uh, Coach T's mind to start throwing it deep and, uh, you know, start taking a quick game. That opening throw from you looked very uncharacteristic. What happened there? Didn't see the guy. Okay. Yeah. Did you change the decision on that throw, or is it the right low, throw to make? Right guy, a little later. If I saw 20, I would have waited a second later and thrown a little farther out there. But, uh, you know, cover one, cover three, though, still the right guy to throw to, just wrong time. How difficult at times is it when you have to go get the low snap and kind of you know, take your eyes off the... It's not that much. I mean, especially the last couple of weeks, uh, Toe has been, you know, pretty much on the money, so especially last week. There wouldn't really wasn't a bad snap that I can think of. Um, it's, it's, it's not easy when it happens, but it's uh, it's not a common occurrence. This Utah defense is highly rated. What do you feel like the strength of it is? Um, you know, they got great players and a great scheme. Uh, I, I think their uh, coach really trust their players. Um, you know, they, they got a lot of really good football players, really good athletic, uh, physical, strong guys. Um, I think they, they, they trust their scheme and they do a really good job of running it. How do you feel you're progressing on your reads as the season goes going? Uh, well, you know, it's just something you just keep getting better at. Um, yeah, uh, not much more I can say to it. We're just working on it each week. You're halfway through the regular season. How would you grade yourself so far? Um, grading myself would be, I'd ask Coach T or Coach Ellis for a grade. Uh, I'm, I'm just worried about where I was last week and where I would be this week. Would you like to throw it more than 34 or 24 times a game? Would you like I don't, game I don't look at the number stats. You know, like, no. if, if we won the game, we won the game. I think there's a temptation, I think, to look at going in every game. And obviously, Coach Helm talks about wanting to have balance, but you also have to just let the game play out. And is that kind of what we're seeing week in and week out? It's you just have to see how the game plays. In terms of what? Just the number of runs or pass. Yeah, know. that doesn't matter to me. If the ball's moving, it's moving. So um, if a team played covered, you know, deep deep quarters every single play, and we ran the ball every single time and won the game, you would not hear a complaint from me. Are we good? Yep. Yeah. Huh?